what is happening in South Africa right now. It's really sad. I don't think most of them even know the meaning of their national anthem. It's sad to see things like this happening in the motherland. Like, I really didn't want to say anything about this issue because most of you are saying that what is happening in South Africa is xenophobia. I don't call what is happening in South Africa as xenophobia. Yes. We need to change the term of saying that say no to xenophobia because what is happening in South Africa is not xenophobia. It's sad to see something like this happening on the continent. If you don't know the meaning of xenophobia, it's the hatred towards a foreigner. Are you trying to tell me that because I'm from Ghana, I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner? Are you trying to tell me that I'm from Nigeria, when I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner in South Africa? Are you trying to tell me that I'm from Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mali, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner? My heart is really bleeding. That's why I really didn't want to talk anything about what is happening. Because sometimes when I talk, people don't get where my message is coming from. Let me tell you guys, man. I'm not just a vlogger, man. From today, know that I'm not just a vlogger. I have a purpose. Until I see Africa free. Until I see Africa as one. Because that is my message. One Africa. Trust me, one Africa is going to happen. But sometimes I sit down and assess what is happening in Africa. I keep on asking myself, how long is it going to take us to unite as one? How long? How long? What is happening in South Africa? It's not xenophobia. But what is happening in South Africa right now is what I call it self hate because if you are talking about hatred against foreigner then you need to do the same thing to chinese indians australians whoever that lives in the country not just your fellow africans who are trying to survive your fellow africans who are trying to feed their family your fellow africans who are trying to take care of themselves don't be a lazy youth what is happening is self-hate the self-hate in africa is way too much that's one of the biggest problem. Because when you travel within Africa, then you get to see the real self-hate in every African country you go to. Let's love one another. How can a black brother kill another brother saying that you are taking my job? Like, like I can't even watch the videos. Like, I've seen the videos people are sending to me. What am I say something? Why have you been quiet about this issue? Like, I've seen it. But anytime I see it, I get sad. When are we going to unite? You see, where all these things started from? Like I said, when you come to Africa, our main problem is the people who are leading us. The incompetent people who are leading us. And when you talk about it, people don't get it. How can a president say this? Nobody just arrives in our townships and rural areas and set up businesses without licenses and permits. We are going to bring this to an end. And those who are operating illegally, wherever they come from, must now know. Did you listen to him? This is the South African president. When you have incompetent people like this in power, this is what happened. This is the result we get. It's simple as ABC. So if the main man who represents the entire country is saying this in order to win elections, what do you expect? I'm not here to cause another hatred to each and everyone out there. 
and I'm here for peace. We have to love one another. Come together as one Africa. <sighs> I'm just sad, man. I don't want to make this video so long. But all I want to say is one love. Voila. Crying. One love, and then give all right.